symbol of liberation and for different people it repre um, represents different things some people see it as an obligation for some it's just personal choice for different reasons the Islamic rule like Islamic courts you have to show your face whether it's for exams yes you can show your face court yes you can show your face airports you can show your face but that doesn't need a whole ban on it like how can you from a country that has actually have been built on so many different cultures and there's a lot of Muslims actually in the UK as well. How can you take that away from them? Where um, ba banning the niqab is part of their uh, religion, it's part of their faith. So it's like you're taking away that choice. If they ever actually want to wear it in the future, you're actually taking that choice away from them. People associate the niqab with a type of feminism, a type of, um, you know, going against the system fighting for your own independence, fighting for your individuality, not conforming to what the government or society or um, media wants us to conform to. You get positive, sometimes you get negative reactions. I remember my first time going into psychology lesson, everybody gave a standing ovation. So even non-Muslim boys of different races and ethnicities, even girls and the teachers, they stood up and clapped for me. So that was supportive and that was a positive reaction. Um, negative reactions, I'd say, are like going on the bus, getting comments. But it depends what's going on around that time. So Lee Rigby incident, there was a lot of negative um, comments from the public. Now, what kind of comments were they? Like, what happened on the bus? They would stick out their legs yeah. and not let them go through. Yeah. Other times on the train, people would chuck stuff. Do you feel um, oppressed in niqab? I think it's what liberates me the most and makes me feel most comfortable. I think what oppresses most niqabis are ignorant people, narrow-minded people, and people who feel like they can ban it. I mean, they're the real misogynists to decide what you can't wear now. Because yeah. people use the excuse that Islam is oppressive and it forces women to cover. What about the same, um, you know, different people who don't allow us to cover. They're on the same spectrum then, isn't it? Nick Clegg needs to tell us what's appropriate then. Because if man is deciding what's good and bad, then why is, why is Islam telling us what's good and bad oppressive or bad? If Islam is telling and different religions, are t like Christianity, they're also told to cover their hair. Jews, nuns, so many different even denominations in Christianity obligate women to cover. So is he now going to say that nuns need to take off their covering because it's not appropriate for him? Mm. We're not here to please him or anyone. Why they shouldn't ban the niqab is because that will be reinstating the fact that there is an attack on Islamic principles. There is an attack on Muslims. Even though in the East they're dropping bombs on us and we can, you know, we can see that, it's tangible. Here we can't really see an attack. So we think, oh, we're fine living in the West. These bans just show that we're not tolerated. They talk about us being tolerant. Where's the tolerance for Muslims then? How can they ban halal meat in Denmark, ban mm. niqab in France, and now ban segregation in the UK? So by banning the niqab, it's only proving the fact that politicians do have an agenda against us. I wouldn't go out. That means me not getting an education, me not getting a job. That's them oppressing me then. Yeah. And I think thousands of women would do the same because people like me who feel so strongly about it and fought our families for it Gave up friends for it because lots of people didn't agree with us Now if that individual has chosen to cover their face and now it's being banned that person doesn't feel comfortable anymore yeah. You've taken away something that they saw as part of their skin literally So it would affect me to a great extent I can't imagine it happening because I wouldn't abide by that at all I couldn't. The niqab is my life, my choice. The niqab is my life, my choice. The is my life and my choice. The niqab is their life, their 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 choice.